everybody, Corey here, and um, today I want to talk about a new trick that's just come out, and I don't want to call this really a review, it's really just kind of first impressions uh, of the effect, um, and I don't want to call it a review because I haven't gone out and performed it, I've only done, uh, I've only opened it, looked at the instructions, seen the quality of the uh, pieces, and kind of wanted to just kind of get some thoughts out there. So, uh, what I'm talking about, uh, if you hear click clacking, or you might see a little head pop up, uh, that's my dog. <laughs> She's not leaving me alone this morning. Uh, but what I want to talk about is Color Prediction by Julio Montoro. Um, and if you've not seen this, this actually just released really recently. Um, it was at Blackpool last year, I believe, uh, from what I've seen, and it sold out incredibly fast. And it's just kind of come to market overall just a year later. And <clears throat> essentially what it is, is it is a Lego, a stack of Lego, um, color prediction. So you can hand them these pieces, they put them together any way you want, and then you pull out a prediction from your pocket and show that your prediction from earlier matched how they would stack these Legos up. Um, in theory, in description, great trick. I, I love the idea. What I don't uh, like, though, is some of the material that's included. Um, so you do get Lego pieces. Um, you get a few. So you've got this, and then you've got your prediction. And in the video, it looks really smooth. Uh, but if you're familiar with uh, Ambitious Block, kind of a similar idea. Uh, I'm trying not to give too much away, but that might be giving a little much away. But I'm really surprised uh, at the gimmick. Uh, because you do have to kind of assemble it. I'm using that term kind of loosely yourself. Um, and this touts itself as being an EDC, and I would not carry this in my pocket all the time. Uh, I think that there would be issues with the crafting that you have to do. Uh, again, it's not, it's, I, I lose, a, I use the term crafting very loosely, uh, cause it's just doing a few things, but you don't get any refills. So there are some stickers that need to be applied and they don't stick well. They, He said, like he says, you can cover one tape if you like, if you want to, but he doesn't do that. I can see the gimmick being just getting destroyed in your pocket if you actually keep it in your pocket with your keys. Um, and you don't want to hang it out of your pocket because then you risk losing stuff. Um, it's I, I know I'm being very big, but the the gimmick itself that you the where you the stickers. Uh, that you have to apply yourself onto the gimmick. This gimmick could have been made already just solid like that. Um, I'm sure it was a cost saving effort, maybe. Um, maybe. <laughs> uh, but you're already paying a pretty premium price. Uh, for the product itself. In fact, I don't have it pulled up, but I'm pretty sure that I paid um, I'm pretty sure I paid like $40 US. Yeah, $39.95 US um, for something that you're getting a couple dollars worth of Lego uh, and a gimmick. Like, honestly, with how this is, it should be a lot. It should be at least half the price, um, and that's that's disappointing to me. Um, again, it's a it's a great trick, and I've not performed it for one. I, there's no doubt in my mind that it will work as advertised 
for performances. No doubt at all. For me, it's all about, and the reason I'm doing this, it is all about the quality uh, of the gimmick itself. Like, you get everything to have... I'm not going to pull the gimmick up uh, because I don't want to expose anything, but you have everything to have this on your keychain and do a color prediction. Um, and you've got a pretty solid way of doing it. The instructions, while they're quick, um, give you everything that you need to know to be able to do the prediction. But it, go, it just goes down to how does it look like when I looked at this and opened it, I was shocked. Um, one, that I still had to assemble stuff after paying $40. And then, two, when applying the stickers, uh, how easily they just fell off of the gimmick. Um, so I did buy tape. So I bought Scotch transparent tape. Uh, so any kind of transparent tape, but I got this because it's a little bit thicker, so it would cover everything. Uh, just to protect it and to keep the stickers on the gimmick. Uh, I am going to hopefully get this performed uh, in the next coming weeks. Oh, and on top of that, they do tell you <laughs> in the ad copy, or at least in what I saw on Vanity Inc., that you need a red and blue Sharpie. For a one-time setup so you probably have those on hand you might not but i went this last week i haven't purchased anything from julio before so i was like let me pick up a few things i've been wanting so i got ambitious block which disappointment mine i see why there's such low ratings on that um because my gimmick doesn't work the gimmick doesn't work on that very well and then i bought his organic um Spirit Slates uh, trick, uh, which already had a name tag, Spirit name tag TCC, but I wanted to get his because I like the idea of these little tags. But color prediction, again, like, like I said, if you have Ambitious Lego or Ambitious Brick, um, you're going to be familiar, fairly familiar with the gimmick. And while it is a little more smooth than that. My big hiccup is the stickers. They're going to peel, they're going to chip, they're going to rip apart. And that wouldn't be an issue if you got a stack of stickers, replacement stickers. But you don't. You get just enough to make the gimmicks. And that's it. So if these peel off, you're going to have to find these stickers. You're going to have to reach out to Julio, you're going to have to reach out to where we bought it from and like, hey, do you guys sell these separately? Uh, or you're going to have to try to find something in person yourself to see if maybe you can recreate um, the look. And I guess I could pull this up on the screen. Like, it looks pretty solid on screen. Like, this this is the prediction piece with the gimmick on, with the gimmick intact. So you would do this to match it with this. Obviously, these don't match. That's not, wasn't my intent to have a match. Um, but yeah, so that's really, that's all I have to say about it. It's not a review. I would say, if you like Ambitious Brick, you didn't have any issues with it, and you're a Julio fan, or you like Lego Magic, uh, get, probably pick up Color Prediction. Um, but if you're not, like if you did, if you had issues with Ambitious Brick, like you, or you had some issues with it you didn't like, um, overall mechanically how it worked, I would probably stay away from it. Again, not trying to be a review, because I do, I love the concept of this. I just wish the material uh, used was better. And I don't know why it wasn't. Well, I don't know why the gimmick's not made better. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I have to say. Um, again, disappointed. Uh, I am going to use it. It's not going to be an EDC. 
not for me. Um, and I love Lego stuff, but I am not going to be carrying this around in fear of just damaging uh, the gimmick. And again, if you keep it on the outside of your pocket, you're going to lose the gimmick. Um, <clears throat> I think if you're already doing a walk around, maybe a nice thing to put in, but this isn't going to be something that I'm going to go shopping for the day. So I'm going to grab my color prediction. Not, it's not going to happen. Um, but if you have it, I'd be curious, um, what are your thoughts about it? Did you have kind of the same feeling when you open it up? Um, if Julio, if you're watching this, I would, you know, reach out to me if you've got any other tips. Uh, and maybe that's what the, the video needed, uh, the teaching video, the tutorial needed for just more tips how to replace the stickers if you need to like it again it was a pretty short video but it doesn't need a lot of explanation i think it was like 20 something minutes um but yeah uh great concept just i think execution and production was a little a little poor a little lacking and that might not hold you back and that's that's fine like i said i am going to I am going to perform this. It's just not going to be, to me, it's not an EDC if it's going to get torn up in my pocket. So take that uh, how you will. But uh, thank you for checking this out. Julio, I think you've got great ideas. Uh, let's just, let's work on that production quality some, buddy. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Or if you are using an EDC, how is it holding up? Um, if you got it at Blackpool last year, you know, I don't know if there's a difference between what was released at Blackpool and what was released here. Uh, but I'd love to know how people are holding up who's had them since uh, last year. Uh, or if they had kind of a similar thought after they got it. It's like, oh, that's great trick. Kind of disappointing in the quality-wise. But that's all I got. Thank you for checking out the video, and we will catch you in the next one.